Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can use the HTML widgets or HTML tags in the Shiny applications. So Shiny application as you know is a web application framework in R and to basically design a better application you sometimes need a custom formatting some something like uh, uh, some characters in italics or hyperlink or some images that, that you want uh, an application to use uh, so that your application is interactive and uh, uh, end users are able to fully understand it by just having a good look and feel. So idea is, uh, is to basically utilize the HTML tags and, uh, and design your application in a much better way. So let's go ahead and uh, start doing the, uh, or start using the application. So currently if you see, uh, the structure that I have is the library shiny is shiny structure for an empty application what we are just giving the text hello shiny to shiny application within the title panel and we have nothing inside bar layout side panel we have just given us single simple parameters to have the application even in server.r we just have the empty function so nothing is happening in this application if I run it it will just show you hello shiny because that's what we have specified and the site panel sidebar layout site panel so now it is up to us uh, where we want to add the code either over here or to title panel or to sidebar panel or to main panel so let's first start writing something in the main panel let's say we want to write an heading and as we know we have heading tags like h1 h2 h3 h4 and i think until h6 that you can use so if i use let's say h1 and we'll we'll not use a tag kind of a coding which is something like this in html or if i be very specific h1 uh, this is the heading slash h1 this is generally you will write in a html but that's not how it will going to be written over here we need to use the h1 as a function so we'll write h1 and within double quotes this is the heading and save it and if i run the app this is the heading if i want to change it to a smaller text let's say h3 i save it and i run it and now it's a smaller heading right that's that's first thing if you want to add a couple of more, let's say a paragraph, then I will hit comma and enter a paragraph. Paragraph and you decide this is a paragraph. And we'll hit save and run the app. So this is the heading first. And after this, this is the paragraph. Let's say we want to add some more thing to a paragraph. Maybe after this paragraph. This is second part of paragraph let's hit save and see how it is giving us the result so as you can see this is how uh, whatever is uh, you are specifying within the paragraphs it is writing in each line and giving you the information if you have any custom requirement where you want to add more breaks or more line between two paragraphs then you can have a br which is break tag in the HTML so I want to give two lines break between the paragraphs and now you have two lines of break so it's very straightforward that you don't have to use HTML tag kind of thing but use it use HTML tags information as a function over here and it will keep giving you the information so the next one for the next example I want to show you is uh, the image tag so if I go here write the image and if you know it from HTML we need to write this source src and I have a change file change.png file and I want to give a width double width of uh, let's say 50 and height of 50 and I need to put a comma to make it correct and uh, save so if I run this and try to see the image, 
now I have this image information which is a change image that I have put it over here so one quick clarification about uh, specifying the image function that you need to have the image in the worldwide folder so wherever your application code is server.rnui.r you need to have a www worldwide folder and then you have this change file so with that it will automatically pick up and give you the result back well there are a couple of others uh, html tag you can explore that uh, here in the shiny and uh, make your application more meaningful so that's pretty much all i wanted to talk in this video and i'll meet in a new video with a new topic